Well, hello everybody. Back to the uh, <coughs> TS820 here. And uh, the parts came in. And I'm not sure if you can actually see. We'll zoom in a little bit. The, uh, the part that I chose is the equivalent. Is the NTE199. So, got a couple of them. And I'm going to just test it real quick. This is a little device tester that I got. And the price was really good. And it's kind of interesting. You can put almost any component in here and it'll check it and tell you what it is. But anyhow, <coughs> Oop. so I'll turn it back on and let's see what it comes up with. I'll move it in a little bit. All right, it's telling me that it's a BJT, an NPN type, and that its emitter collector base is on these pins, which is very similar to the other one. Now, gives me the, uh, the HFE of it, and there I guess it's telling me that's what the forward bias voltage was. I'll move that in a little bit so you can see it. <coughs> yeah, but this thing is uh, really neat, and then it automatically shuts off, but there's one. So I'll pull that one out and check the other one. I like to check them before I put them in a lot of times because I'm really not sure what I'm putting in and I hate to find out that I waste all that time and put a bad component in. So I'll try this one too just to make sure they're good. Let's see. I'll turn it on. And test. And... So there it is. Uh, pretty much the same thing. Alright, so now <clears throat> I have two good parts. I'm going to train the camera back up to the board. Let's see what i got to do to see the board. There it is. Right here. Yeah, let me see if I can find out where I'm going to be working here. All right. Right about this area is going to be 22 and 23. So what I'm going to do is actually use the solder sucker. And I'll pull those two components out. And we'll see what it looks like. Zoom in a little bit. I know you're not going to be able to catch everything, but... Uh, these tools for sucking the solder out work great. Let's see. A little guy there that's being a little, <coughs> a little resilient. The rest are working off. more than anything is so I picked the wrong the wrong place to suck the sucker from. I'll see if I can tilt that in a little bit and show you. It's got I have some wire still connected over here from the filter but these little guys here I'll zoom in and show you. Loosen that up. I don't have a uh, you can see right there where I picked them up. Next one's I'm going to go after are these three right here. 
and you'll see that <coughs> in a second. Oops, yeah, look how convenient that is. The port already fell out. You can't. There it is, the port already fell out in my hand. <laughs> Which works a whole lot better than the old vacuum handheld solder sucker. So off it goes right through. <coughs> I need a little, a little hand to get that out. <coughs> a little bit of needle nose. I'm going to back the camera back out a little bit so you get a wider view. And where it's right here. It pulls right out. So let's move those aside for now. these two straight back in and they have the little diagram drawn on the schematic or on the, uh, the board here so I can see where which sides the flat side All right. I'm going to leave it out a little bit so I can get at the leads if we need to do any more testing. Using just a regular uh, lead. I don't. I'm not using the um, lead-free solder. Okay, with being paged, I'm gonna grab that. Let's see. There's one. Put the other one in. Again, looking at the uh, little silk screen here. Like I said, I'll leave it out a little bit.
these little clippers I'm using. A bit of a Harbor Freight, I wanted to give them a try. They were really cheap. I mean, cost-wise. Uh, <clears throat> I had a better pair, but they didn't last too long. And the problem is, is when I have them in my hand to cut wire and I get the thicker wire, I really should get thicker uh, cutters, but instead I just make do and so they don't live too long when I do that. So let me just clean up where the uh, solder flux went. <clears throat> and then there's one more repair I want to do on the board, but I'll show you what it is before I do it. I'm not going to record it because it'll just be boring. Just something I happen to notice. So let me get a little brush here and kind of just brush that little bit off there. And I can get there too and get a good look. And if you take a look, I'll zoom you in and you'll be able to, be able to see. Maybe if it focuses. There we go. So right in here you can see nice shiny. Here and here. I'm sorry, here and here. Okay, the other thing that I want to fix is back here on the board. Let's see if I can show you where. Right where my finger is. So, what that is, and it's, it's a redundant thing, but it's where this board that attaches these filters, it's a solder that, so, I'm sorry, a, a wire that goes down to the chassis ground, and it's loose, and you can actually see it's, it's pulling away the, uh, the copper from the board. So I'm just going to epoxy that back down. Uh, there's redundant ones all around it, so it wouldn't really hurt anything other than the fact that I'd know it was ripped off. So I'll just use a little bit of uh, two-part epoxy and glue that down, and we take a minute or two, and then I'll shoot the board back together, and we'll see what kind of output we get from that transistor. Come in a little bit more, and okay, so it's set on a hundred, and you can see the hundred plugged down there. It does have a, a peak read on it, so it's on peak into a dummy load, and uh, I'm not going to yell, I'll just kind of talk in a normal tone of voice, so about six to eight inches away, and we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's what the uh, gain turned about to three quarters, about seven, Se uh, seven out of ten. If I turn it all the way up, obviously, it's that's all the way. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can see it pegs the needle. I'm going to turn it right to the halfway point and do about the same thing. It's a little less, it's about four. Microphone, same spot. I'll talk around the same way. One, two, three, four, five. So as you can see, <coughs> unfortunately, I didn't record doing that before I uh, changed the transistors, which might have been a much better evaluation of of how it worked or at least get some measurements. The only real measurement I had was what the voltage was at the output of Q21 and while that did increase slightly I didn't do it at different frequencies and I wish I would have done that because I know that it did decrease once I got over just roughly over a thousand Hertz. Alright, and that's it. I'll show you the a while back I put um, LED lights in it Take it down a little bit to see all that straight on. Well, that's as low as the camera goes. At least on this tripod. Keep pulling it down. Okay. But anyhow, that's that's it. And uh, pull back together. Thanks for watching.